In this video, I'm going to show you how to import contacts from a Microsoft Excel sheet into Microsoft Outlook. So over here I have Outlook in an empty contacts list, and over here I have a list of players on a sports team that was sent to me. Um, it's actually just dummy data, but I wanted something that would resemble an Excel sheet you might actually receive. Um, it's got some data here, first and last names, emails, that's what I want to get put into Outlook, and then it also has some data here, position, we can just simply discard that data. So the first thing you'll notice here is that this Excel sheet is a .xlsx file. Um, it's just a regular Excel sheet, and so most uh, Excel sheets created by modern versions of Excel will be in this or another Excel file format. Unfortunately, we can't actually import these into Outlook as is, so we need to save the file as a different format. We need to save it as a comma-separated value format. So to do that, I'm going to click File, Save As, um, and then I'm just going to... It's already on the desktop, so that, that's okay. And I'm just going to save it as a .csv file. Uh, so it says CSV UTF-8, comma delimited, .csv. We'll save that like that. And Excel is going to remind me of potential data loss, but that's OK. Um, we just can't use all the features of Excel with this file format, but that's OK. We're just saving it as this so that Outlook can understand it. And just before we move to Outlook, I want to point out one more thing. You'll notice that the first row in my file is a header row. So that is, it has labels labeling what to expect. So first, last, email, position. You might at times have data without these labels that you want to import, and if you if that is the case, simply add the header row. You can't import them easily into Outlook without the header row, so just simply add a header row, put some labels in there for the data, and it will make your life much, much easier when you try to import it. So now, now that I've saved it as a CSV, I can simply just close Excel. I don't actually need that anymore. I come over here to Outlook. I can click File open and export, import, export. When this window pops up, I'm going to select import from another program or file, click next, comma separated values, click next, and then I can find that file. So that's on my desktop as teamcontacts.csv. Click OK. And we could select our duplicates behavior, so we could replace duplicates with items imported, allow the duplicates to be created, but don't delete anything, uh, or simply not import any items that might be duplicates. The riskiest of these is definitely replacing the duplicates, because you could lose data. Allowing duplicates is pretty safe, uh, and we'll make sure that all of the items in the sheet get imported, and do not import duplicate items is also quite safe, but it won't result, it potentially may result in some items from the sheet not being imported. Okay, so I'm just going to leave it at the default, allow duplicates to be created. At this point, you want to select the email that you want to use, and you want to select the contacts uh, folder for that email. So just make sure contacts is selected, and if you have multiple emails, scroll up and make sure it's the email you want. Then you can click this checkbox over here and then go map custom fields. Might pop up automatically, but in my case it didn't. And we see here those fields from the Excel file. There's a couple special characters, I'm not sure why that is, but it won't harm the importing process, so you can just leave them alone and ignore them. In this case, I want to map both first, last, and email, uh, and I don't need to put position on anything. I don't actually need that information in Outlook, so we can just discard that. So if I go over here to Office Outlook Contacts, it gives all the different fields of a contact. You can see there's lots and lots of different information that Outlook can keep track of for you. And then if you click the plus sign here, you can actually expand the name to be... Um, different fields within the name. So I can just drag over first here to first name, drag over last to last name, and then lastly I need to find email, email, we can expand it and go email. Perfect. And if you had on other information, obviously you can drag it over here. Um, there's probably even a field just for yeah, uh, other information. Uh, but that's okay, you put it in notes or whatever. 
Um, we could put the position in notes, but I, in this case, I just want to discard the information. So once you're happy with how everything's mapped, go ahead and click OK and click Finish. And just like that, we have all of the contacts imported into Outlook. If you have any trouble with the process, feel free to leave a comment below and also check out my written tutorial that we linked in the description. Like the video if it helped you, subscribe for more tutorials in the future, and I will see you in the next video.